Elon Musk, the real-life Iron Man, has just entered the AI chat space with Grok AI, and it is already changing the game. Hey guys, Ben here, and I have some awesome news to share with you all today. You know Elon Musk, the creator of Tesla, SpaceX, the boring company, CEO of X, and multi-billionaire? Yeah, well, he just created a new AI chatbot called Grok, specifically for the X platform. In this video, I'll share everything you need to know about Grok and how you can get your hands on it as soon as possible. So the first question that you're probably asking is why name this new language model Grok? Well, for the unaffiliated, this might seem like a random name plucked out of the sky, but for tech heads, Grok actually translates to to understand. This name hints at what Grok AI is intended to do, understand what you're saying and give you a coherent answer. I think the best place to start is by checking out the official blog post released by X. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start something which I know you call Truth GBT or... Where they explain what Grok is and what it's capable of. The blog post says, Grok is an AI modeled after Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, so intended to answer almost anything and far harder, even suggest what questions to ask. Grok is designed to answer questions with a bit of wit and has a rebellious streak, so please don't use it if you hate humor. A unique fundamental advantage of Grok is that it has real-time knowledge of the world via the X platform. It will also answer spicy questions that are rejected by most other AI systems. Grok is still a very early beta product, the best we could do with two months of training, so expect it to improve rapidly with each passing week with your help. So, as you can see, there is a lot to unpack here. The first and probably most striking aspect of Grok AI is that the fact that it has been designed to have a sense of humor, and with this it will answer what Musk calls spicy questions, which other chatbots wouldn't answer. The best way to explain how this works is to show you an example, and trust me when I say that both this sense of humor and willingness to answer any kind of question is not an understatement. So, Musk actually tweeted a picture of a conversation asking Grok how to build a cocaine lab. Whereas literally every other chatbot on the planet would basically give you the finger, Grok proceeded to provide a 10-step detailed plan on an actual recipe for cocaine. And throughout this completely illegal tutorial, Grok displayed a surprising amount of personality. Instead of just giving you step-by-step -step instructions, it included a bunch of jokes and sarcasm, which made the conversation feel a lot more well, real. So there is definitely a couple of pros and cons about this unfiltered access to information. Going with old sayings, the pen is mightier than the sword. Um, so the, if you have um, a super intelligent uh, AI that is capable of writing uh, incredibly well and, and in a way that is very influential, um, you know, convincing. Starting with the pros, it's probably going to be the case that Grok AI will be much more useful than competitors like ChatGPT because you'll be able to answer literally any question you have without limitation. Grok is also likely going to be more accurate when providing answers because it won't be subject to any bias from the creators, who essentially choose to censor certain things based on their own political ideology. Musk is also a massive advocate for free speech and expression. Literally, as soon as he took over Twitter, he unbanned the Tate brothers and Trump because he believed that everyone should have a platform. The fact that Grok AI is so raw and unfiltered is obviously just an extension of his view and will allow everyone to access all the information that they want freely. However, there is another side to this. If Grok AI will give you the answer to any question, who is to say that it couldn't be used for illegal and violent purposes? What if someone did actually want to start a cocaine lab, build a bomb, or hack a computer? I mean, obviously if someone wanted to know this information, it's already on the internet. But allowing someone to access it through a platform as easy to use as Grok just can't be a good idea. This is a really interesting topic to think about and is constantly a theme surrounding the release of new technology, particularly with AI. And me personally, I'd love to get all your thoughts on this in the comments below. Now, on a slightly less controversial note, Musk has also announced that Grok AI will have real-time access to information via the X platform. What this means is that Grok will always be able to provide up-to-date information and provide answers surrounding recent affairs. Other models simply can't do this, which puts Grok AI a step ahead of the field. And this is reflected in Grok's benchmarks, which X reported on the announcement page. As a matter of fact, here's what they wrote. 
After announcing XAI, we trained a prototype LLM, Grok Zero, with 33 billion parameters. This early model approaches Llama 2, 70 billion capabilities on standard LM benchmarks, but uses only half of its training resources. In the last two months, we made significant improvements in reasoning and coding capabilities, leading up to Grok 1, a state-of-the-art language model that is significantly more powerful, achieving 63.2% on the human eval coding task and 73% on the MMLU. Now, these numbers really can't be praised enough when you consider that Grok was created in only a matter of months. I mean, just imagine what it's going to be like 12 to 18 months from now. The final feature that I want to touch on is the fact that Grok has two different modes. The first is a pretty standard mode, which will give you more direct answers to questions and can even be used for complex tasks like coding. And then the second mode is the fun mode, which kind of does what you would expect it to and provide more creative responses turn up the sarcasm a notch, and generally be a little bit more playful. This is a pretty great idea, because it's going to allow serious workers to just get on with their stuff and everyone else to mess about with Grok's capabilities, and I've got a feeling you know which mode that I'm going to be using the most. Okay, so by this point in the video, I'm sure you're wondering, how can you get your hands on Grok AI? I mean, who doesn't want to find out how to build a drug lab? <laughs> Jokes aside, the answer may disappoint you. Grok isn't currently available to the public, and we generally don't have a clue as to when it will be. The silver lining is that you can actually sign up for a beta program by scrolling down to the bottom of the official announcement page. The numbers for the beta program are limited, and there is no guarantee that you'll be accepted. So yeah, this is pretty disappointing. But knowing Musk, he probably won't keep us waiting for too long anyways. So there you have it, everything that you need to know about Grok AI. Ultimately, this chatbot has the potential to be the best large language AI model that the world has ever seen. However, in the same breath, it can also be the most dangerous. Musk has always pretty much had this attitude of not censoring everything, and when it comes to Twitter accounts, you can see where he's coming from. But when the dangers of AI abuse are involved, he may have just crossed the line. Of course, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Are you a fan of the Grok AI, or are you worried about the potential repercussions it can have on society? Be sure to let us know, and on that note, I'll see you in the next video.